Guess, guess who's back? Back, back, so back cloud, again. You were a yeah, soldier first yeah, class, cloud right? Cloud is back, back, back. Yeah. Tell a friend, friend, friend. Weird. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Really? Guess What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever. So let's loved. talk about it. Rebirth, as I like to say, is an interesting tale of how remakes and remasters can be. I don't believe Final Fantasy VII is a remake at all. I actually believe it's a remake as in the reimagining of the Final Fantasy VII lore. Now, Final Fantasy was marketed as a remake in the such that it's the same game but with higher graphics and new gameplay. However... Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! You have three seconds to exit! Spoiler alert! Ding ding! The ending revealed that the game is going into a direction that others may like and may not like. However, for me, the puppers, aka Husky, I loved it. The traditional original game left such wonder and weirdness about its characters where you truly never knew what happened until they released that movie as a follow-up detailing the events after the ending of the first game but in the game final fantasy 7 remake red reveals through flashbacks of the future that if they fail when it comes to fighting the fate destiny boss it itself Once you butcher that boss, you get taken into a new height, and this is where the game ends up changing, where you end up fighting Sephiroth, and fighting all the different Destiny people, and learning about the multi-universes, and then it's so much craziness, your mind's like, what the hell, this isn't, what? And you're shocked. And I loved it. The fact that Zack, and if you don't know about Zack, do some research, but the fact that Zack can be alright and Aerith is not dead and still alive, it moves me with joy emotionally. So the story is interesting because as I was playing my playthrough, which by the way, you can catch me live on twitch.tv backslash huskypuppytv or see the re-uploaded footage on Husky Puppy TV on YouTube. Access through that in my channel box. Shameless, Shameless Plugs Club Incorporated. Incorporated. Shameless. I called these weird things and these weird beings that always kept surrounding when the lore was trying to change or things was happening that kind of was off-putting. The Dementors from Harry Potter because they look like Dementors. And it's just funny to me. And, it, and that's what I call them. And it seems like they are the actual original fans of Final Fantasy VII. And they are there to protect their beloved game and make sure it doesn't change. Cloud and his team does not like that. And therefore set out in an adventure to make sure that doesn't happen. Which basically means Cloud is attacking you. You original fans. The gamers. And therefore it's because of you that... He wants to make the game change because he's not a fan of the original and his team wants it to change so they have all this in adventure. <clears throat> the amount of degree of lore in third person, first person, second person, fourth person in complexity is mind boggling. Like it's just insane and you can see it all reflect at the end of the game and as you play through the beginning to the end it's literally the same game from the original front and back until the very end when it blows you out of the water as you play through Looking at the graphics, you can capture the emotion behind the game in its characters. The deaths that happen are emotional. The crying that happens hits you in waves. The laughs and the jokes that the, each characters share and trade with each other showcase how much dedication and loves that the devs put into this. And it all looks amazing. It sounds amazing. And it's just great considering it was all ported from the square enix old lunix engine which wasn't really old like we've seen final fantasy 15 in the lunix engine but it does suffer from frame drops and frame rate and, and it's harder to develop for they actually changed the game and put it on the unreal engine and unreal is a game changer not only did they actually finish the game in unreal but it got it out faster and they said they learned more things and it was easier to develop for so Keep that in mind. 
if you're a dev. The gameplay of the game is amazing as well as it strikes the charm of the game up to date, meaning it doesn't feel too old, like the turn-based old. I know people love turn-based games still, and I love it in Pokemon, but it is an old style of video gaming for role-playing games. And I prefer my RPG, specifically Final Fantasy VII Remake, to play like this because I actually fell in love with it. I love the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, I loved Final Fantasy XV despite what people say and think about Final Fantasy XV. I mean, if there's anything I have to say I hate, here's another spoiler, spoiler alert, alert, spoiler alert, alert spoiler, spoiler alert, alert, spoiler alert, alert, was that everyone I loved had to die, but such is life. The gameplay is literally Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy XV inspired, which again to me is an improvement over the old art and battle style. And if you disagree with that, well then you need to get good. Because some of the bosses are a challenge, and they're not like in uh, turn-based where you can just cheese a boss. No, 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 no. You gotta put your skills to the test. There's an evil house boss, which is a monstrosity. The evil laboratory boss, which is even more of a pain in the ass. And then Sephiroth at the end almost had me on tilt. But the one boss that stood out to me the most was Tom motherfucking Barry. You better put some respect on that mofo because he was coming for that ass. Bring that ass here, boy, looking ass. He coming for that ass looking ass. He said you like this the easy way or the hard way because he's ready with all the smoke and he's coming, bro. He's coming for that ass. The graphics of Final Fantasy VII Remake are the best possible graphics you can get on this dusty-ass base-level PS4. It is so damn dusty, and the fans sound like a jet engine. I feel like either two things are going to happen one day. It's either going to explode, or it's going to just get up and fly away. I am so ready for the next generation of gaming in their consoles. Voice acting in this game is top-notch. The English dub isn't too cringy and tacky, and obviously the Japanese version is king here which should not be a brain a no-brainer it's just that's just what it is overall here we at ngi we give final fantasy 7 remake a 10 out of 10 it's the closest thing you're getting to perfection with how this game was handled and executed stay tuned for more game reviews at ngi make sure you hit that subscribe Woo! cue that outro boy of everything genova we <laughs>